Hey, if you've seen my videos before, you've probably wondered, what is the difference between a major 9 chord, an add 9 chord, and a major 7 sus 2 chord? Well, let's get into it, starting first with the major 9. So a major 9 chord is formed by taking a root, and then a major 3rd in relation to the root, perfect 5th, major 7th, and major 9th. So if we take all of those intervals and play them together all at once, we'll get this sound here, which is the major 9 sound. I would describe the aesthetic of this chord as lush, colorful, jazzy. It's got a lot of emotion behind it. And I would say it's quite a round sound. So once again, the major 9 chord is formed through a root, 3rd, 5th, 7th, and ninth. Moving on, let's take a look at the add 9 chord. So this is pretty similar to major 9, but there's a one note difference, which creates a completely different aesthetic. So the add 9 chord is formed by taking a root, 3rd, 5th, and ninth. So it's missing the 7th. So if we play all of those intervals at once, we're going to get this color. So to me, this aesthetic is completely different than the major 9 aesthetic. It's open, it's consonant, it doesn't have a lot of that really intense tension behind it that the major 9 chord had. To me, it sounds very pentatonic, like... And you could say that the aesthetic here is very stable. The chord doesn't really want to move. You could just sit on the sound and not have to go anywhere. So once again, the add 9 chord is formed through a root, 3rd, 5th, and ninth. It's a stable and more consonant sound than the major 9 chord, and the key difference is that it's missing 7. So actually, if I take the add 9 sound again, we'll play it like this, and I add the 7, you can hear how adding this extra note here adds a boatload of tension to the sound. So if we get rid of that, then we have this, which sounds a lot more stable, as I've said many times. Finally, we have major 7 sus 2. So some of you might see this as the same thing as a major 9 chord, but to me, there's a significant aesthetic difference, which makes it deserve its own label. Let's take a look at the formula. For major 7 sus 2, you need a root, 2nd, 5th, and a 7th. So if I play all of those intervals at once, we're going to get this sound here, which is the major 7 sus 2 sound. To me, the aesthetic is open, it's bright, maybe it's a little bit cold. It's got some bite to it, it's very optimistic. So the fundamental difference between this and a major 9 chord is that there is no third in this sound here. So if I play a major 9 chord to compare, the major 9 chord adds the third into this sound, giving it a little bit more lushness and color, a little more warmth, and a certain coolness to it. So if we go back to major 7 sus 2, taking away that third leads to some pretty different changes in the sound. So if you want that Midwest emo kind of feel, then I find that these major 7 sus 2 chords fit the aesthetic of that a little bit better, since that genre isn't super jazzy. So anyways, hopefully that clarifies some things on major 9, add 9, and major 7 sus 2. Hope that made sense, and happy practicing.